Hello. It's been a while since I did one of the video. <clears throat> but uh, today there was a Quebec announcement about their kill bill for euthanasia in the province of Quebec. <clears throat> and um, what I noticed is um, in everything concerning their kill bill, as in all of the other kill bills in Canada and in all the other places around the world, Belgium, um, Holland, Oregon, Washington, Montana, Vermont, the kill bills center around what people think you are not living in these hell holes known as long-term care institutions. Now I live here because I need basic help to do things I need to do. Cooking laundry, help to get my legs on and off, and uh, for the last 20 years I've been living with uh, the generating COPD and I've been here since 2000 uh, and I've witnessed uh, quite a few people who die here and um, none of them ever complained and whimpered that they needed a legalized euthanasia or assisted suicide for them to die with dignity. This uh, little play with these upstarts of egos, it would play the word dignity and this Quebec dying with dignity law. <clears throat> For one thing, all of these people through the years who have rambled on about dying with dignity, oh, they don't want to get to the point where they got to have their diapers changed and they don't want to have to get to the point where people have to clean their ass. Well, you know something? Every one of these people who have been uh, rampaged, uh, killed bills, with this attitude are, are rotten people. They're not decent civilized people at all. They're 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 arrogant, they're selfish, and they've lived selfish lives. And I've followed the uh, Sue Rodriguez um and this uh this guy that was in the suicide tourist movie documentary a few years ago I have I paid a lot of attention to the different cases in different newspapers through the years. And I dare say, with all the decorating of how great these people were, how they were the fittest, of, they were the most outdoors people and most athletic and keeping in shape. You know, to me, that just sucks. Uh, they, they they claim they had the best of everything in their lives, and now because they're dying, uh, well, a lot of them are dead now, <clears throat> uh, that they deserved to have their deaths legalized and you know, to, to satisfy the duty to die leaders. And, and in fact, what I'm seeing here in Quebec is probably a lot of the people in the Quebec uh, the Quebec party and uh, the Green Party and uh, all the people that jumped on board in Quebec, the Black Quebecois, there's a good chance and quite a few of these people are pretty decent people. However, they, they get sucked in by the leaders of the right to die societies. They're turning this now into a global 
market where they're making a lot of profits from the killing industry and like everything else that they lie about about their death statistics against consent and the unreported statistics because they aren't considered human beings this thing has gone too far in its attitude to the last few years here in Quebec that they're going to champion that they're going to be the first to get their kill bill passed in Canada rah 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 Quebec I want to tell you something about this hell-bent Quebec there is a racist most arrogant uh, party uh, you know uh, a separatist uh, group in the world <clears throat> they've got the entire soccer federation now we're going to kick them in the ass because of their goddamn prejudice and racial profiling against the Sikh community <clears throat> the soccer federation they're going to go ahead and play soccer and the Quebec government can kiss their asses this is the kind of people who are running this province that are like they've run the province for the whole 60 years I've been alive and they keep their, the people of Quebec in total ignorance total ignorance abject poverty most of them to make them rally behind the, the forces to separate from Canada and I'll tell you what it's going to be a rotten day that if the separatist situation takes hold is you, you talk about bloodbath Quebec is going to be the bloodbath of the US and Canada and uh, to allow these people to to lie through their teeth what they've done throughout the last three years the 2010-2011 campaign they had the so-called uh, uh, Senate Committee on dying without dignity it was just uh, it was a criminal thing that they did uh, uh, oh, what was it over 300 petitions the doctors filed against legalizing euthanasia in Quebec then they just erased it from their final report oh the doctors and then today uh, what's her name here? Uh, get her, get her name. Public Health Minister Veronique Kevon. She just sat there and the uh, and you say, huh? Oh, that's five hundred fifty doctors. Oh, big deal. There's twenty thousand doctors in Quebec. You know what's happening? I don't know if it's a case or. 20,000 doctors in Quebec are 20,000 do 20,000 serial killers robots ready to respond to orders of the great Adolf Hitler of Quebec <clears throat> and I'll, I'll tell you one thing that there will never be a place where the laws if they don't represent the people that the people who were threatened need to subject or submit to the law of that land I don't care if it's a province I don't care if it's a state I don't care if it's a country when the lawmakers make your life a threat to your existence you do not have to submit or obey that authority and that's exactly the way it's going to be in this hell-bent Quebec <clears throat> though if euthanasia the legalization they want needs to get polished up cleaned up 
flush down the toilet. It's just like all three bills by Francine Lalonde. It's too bad these poor people have to die. Everybody dies. I'm going to die. You're going to die. And did you notice that in all these rah, rah, rah cases of Barbara Walter or whatever her name case was in B.C., she died. She died in natural causes before her law was passed. Why don't people get their their, their their heads out of their asses and wake up? Most people do not die the way they were scared into thinking they were going to die by the right to die societies. These right to die societies in this royal society of Canada are populated by lying, psychopathic serial killers. There's something about their fascination for death. In Belgium right now, they want to make um, uh, the, the conversation of end of life right down at the elementary school level. You know, when little kids are born and growing up, they need to have the right to grow up, have fun, and live their life. Not be, not be absolutely brainwashed into these scare tactics about how it end of life is going to be. Oh, you can suffer. Oh, you can suffer years. Of your life in pain. Oh. And I'll tell you one thing too. There is not a one of these goddamn politicians or these big shot experts that come out of all these university departments so full of shit uh, who have any idea it what it likes to feel uh, when people are on the edge of tipping over. And I've been in that situation four times since 1993. And I don't think there's a goddamn thing that these upstarts that the university departments can tell me about end of life and, and about dying. Not a single one of them. <clears throat> I think it's time that people in Quebec and the people across the country get their heads out of their asses and stop believing these bloody opinion polls uh, that were, they get to rambling out there. Oh, look at this. We got 70 to 80 percent of the people in the country want to legalize euthanasia and uh, assist the suicide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. We're on a roll now. We're going to make money. That's really what it's all about. It's about finding a way to generate a lot of profit, and they must be making a lot of profit from it as much as they might deny how much they're making from it because their campaigns are pumping a lot more money to control the media for what people think than the Euthanasia Prevention Coalition is able to afford. So there's money being made by killing people off. And in Belgium, 80% of the people are being killed off. It has nothing to do with um, whether they asked for it, whether they went through all the criteria necessary according to their law. They don't give a shit about the laws they're right. Why don't people pull their heads out of their ass and wake up to reality? Everywhere they have gotten their campaigns and got people so sucked into believing that these people should care about you. They don't give a shit about the laws they're right. 
in an Oregon a few years ago when they started uh, sending these people who were on cancer treatments <clears throat> notices in the mail, hey, you know what? Uh, you can't prove you're going to be alive in five years. Screw you. We'll give you the euthanasia drugs and we'll just say we he had assisted suicide. It wasn't assisted at all. They were murdered. And it is the dirt bags, they run the uh, hemlock society. They're the ones put in charge of the health care system in Oregon. You want to obey laws like that? You know? I think things. I don't know, you know. I, if I was in shape and I had somebody go around the country with me, I would do a speech circuit, I'll tell you that. I wouldn't need bloody notes. And as far as my language, it's about time people woke up. It's, hey, this language thing, oh, don't use certain words. It's about time people pulled their heads out of their asses and realized, hey, this is real life. And all these prim and proper people, forget it. They're just teaching us how to lie down and submit to everything. And then turn around and say, oh, it must have been God's will. Oh, I'll tell you what. But God's will is to kick these people's asses. You know, they've never had a payback yet. And I'll tell you, is Robert Latimer still being paraded around? Is a fucking hero to the, the, the right to die societies. He killed his daughter. And his same little punk, it, it was busted, uh, busted for rape and a nurse. And the same judge got him off a rape case, got him off the hook for killing his daughter until he was put back in the can. This guy's out there. Uh, one of the big heroes now of right to, right to die, Robert Latimer. As far as I'm concerned, him and a string of people across this country are marked to meet their maker. And if I could ever find a team to go around the country and carry out that order, good riddance to the trash. Maybe if there was a, a, a maybe if there was a payback. Which there never has been. Maybe it was a payback. But see these bastards pack up their bags. And flee for their lives. Let's see what they. What they. What they have. In, what, what, are they, what they're going to do. When it comes to, to. To showing how brave they are. And going down. That's the way I look at it. Now, I think everybody in this country. I got put a stop to these bitches getting on TV and radio and it's like almost like they're a champion of the women's movement. Hey, that's all you poor suffering people and you're taking care of your your poor family member. Oh, you suffered so much. Blah, blah, blah. And some of you people who uh, oh, your parents, oh, your parents suffered so much. You know something? My parents both died too. And, um, I was glad that, that my sister and brother in law were able to take care of my, my parents as much as they could the last few years of their lives. But they sure. We're in no hurry to have this euthanasia laws passed to bump them off and get rid of them so they could get their inheritance. No, that wasn't the way it worked. But you know, you got Generation X and Generation Y now being pumped mentally to, to believe that this is the way it should go. Just get these, just use these euthanasia laws. To get rid of grandpa, grandma, and get rid of dad, and get rid of mom, so you can get all the inheritance money early. That's what's going on in quite a few places. 
trying to put a stop to it. And at the same time, at the same time, you got these science departments where they're trying, they're trying to, to perfect the development of uh, treating cyborgs to, to successfully change every cell in the body, body organ, to be run by computers to preserve the brain so that some people escape the death process. Now, and at the same time, this is all going down. Euthanasia laws are being campaigned for around the world. Now, I wonder why. At the same time, the military is ramping up massacring populations and telling everybody in the news around the world, Oh, let us tell you who is really the bad guy. We're the good guys. And those guys over there, oh, oh, they're terrorists. That bullshit. So they got this big thing where they got to kill off as many people in the world as they can by warfare and euthanasia to allow these a minority of scum elite to to live and use all the technology to to create uh, to create cyborgs and to turn themselves into eternal human beings. I think technology is being really used to screw the entire world over. And to put time limits on people, if you morons at the top think should not be alive, and those few who they think should live forever. It's time to put a stop to the whole bloody thing. And these people in Quebec City. and go screw themselves before they die. As soon as they all drop dead, the better. I hope I outlive them. And it was for Jeffrey Kelly and everybody who was a part of that Senate commission. I hope I outlive all you bastards and bitches. I've had enough. 